in the north of the Moscow region. For the first sight it looks like common agricultural fields like other thousands fields in Russia. But now, in September, they are not. Let me show why. Have a look. Common cranes. What amazing, beautiful birds. How many? Let's come closer. It was a bad idea. Very stupid from my side. Cranes are very timid. They have good eyesight better than I have with my field glasses. I hope they will return. Now I have some time to make my shelter. Like I said, the cranes are very timid and camouflage must be perfect. So far this is not good enough. Now we must wait for a morning. In the evening the cranes fly away from the fields and hide in the remote forest swamps. As soon as the day breaks the flock comes back and starts to be fed at once. In the middle of September, big flocks of common cranes are getting together in their fields on the north of Moscow region. They are preparing for annual autumn migration. The cranes prefer to stay among the agricultural fields where they can easily find something to eat. They pick grains and catch small animals. Gradually the flock breaks up into several family groups. Some birds fly from place to place.
Cranes breed in the northern parts of Europe, mainly in Russia. Every autumn they leave their nesting places and migrate to Africa or South Europe. The exact time of leaving depends on weather. Normally they fly away in the beginning of October. They take a long way of several weeks. Cranes is one of the largest birds for Russia. Is it amazing that such wonderful birds are raised among a rather poor environment? Being on the top of trophic pyramid, they take part in the keeping of nutrient balance of the ecosystems. They transfer biomass from one continent to another. Thereby, like other migrating animals, they can make the same contribution to other ecosystems in Asia and Africa. Adults are easy for distinguishing on white and red stains on the head. Thanks to their beauty, in picturesque wedding dances, the cranes always drew attention of people. This is not surprising that the cranes left a trace in the culture of many nations. Eventually, their family found out my shelter. On alarm, all cranes has risen in the sky. Now the weather changes quickly. The flock uses temporary calm, windless time for training flights. Earlier, almost all fields around me used to be swamps, where the cranes used to build their nests and prepare for migration. That's why this place was named Crane's Motherland. Now the population of the cranes is decreasing, due to decreasing the territory of swamps. On the other hand, agricultural activity in Russia ruins and the number of the fields is shrinking too. The wetlands are not good places for cranes because of weed. But I hope cranes flocks return here to this land in future. <laughs>